Hi everyone, I'm Ryan. We here at Fridays Live have been receiving some complaints recently about the content we're putting out. And as head writer, I wanted to assure you all that we're putting a stop to it. Can I go back to my chair now? Guys, come on. I was put into the shame corner because I suggested bone and burritos. It sounded so funny. I think they were into it for a bit. But then I said the worst mistake of my life. I added guacamole. Then they just sent me over here. As the director of HR and DEI, it's part of my responsibility to ensure that all of our content follows those rules. So how does shaming fall along in the process? Well, I have a good answer for you. So. All of our content needs to be respectful and respectable, which many of our writers simply are not. I don't have respect for them, nor does Ryab or Ryan, and neither should you. So therefore, when people try to pitch things, we tell them no preemptively, just as precaution. I mean, I don't want my time wasted and we don't want our viewers time wasted either. Here at Friday's Live, we aim to produce the best content we can every single week. Let us know what you think of this episode. If shaming doesn't work, we can always do something more extreme. And live from Studio hey. C. No talking in the corner. And live from Studio C. It's Friday's Live. Live from Studio C, it's Friday's Live. Starring Aiden Wickham, Ryan Humanick. Jack Lynn Scott, Mia Leland, Bree Rydell, Lily Sellers, Ava Pasika, Felix Schmidt, Matthew Campbell, Nessa Ladon. Abby Lance, Sam Gottfried, Elena Hess, Sam Brandis, with A News host Chance Lane, hosted by Lauren Key, with guest host Grayson Newborn, and musical guest Lauren Key, with head writer. Ryan Humanick, produced by Olivia Freeland and Lydia Smith, directed by Allison Irie.
life. Oh, man, we were just so high on life back then. So do you two know each other or not? Yeah, we go way back. What? No. <laughs> do you seriously not remember me? Here, I'll have something that will jog your memory. Tip a canoe, our big brave canoe. We'll tip a canoe. Yes. I remember you and stupid tip a canoe high school. I mean, who names a high school tip a canoe anyway? Are you still doing sketch comedy at Ohio State? I might have been kicked out of a few shows for being unfunny. Um, I also might have submitted 103 different Google form votes, um, voting myself as Friday's live guest host. So. Uh, <laughs> that makes sense. I, just, I wanted to see what it was like. Everyone seemed to find their place after high school except for me. It's oh. okay, buddy. We're always here for you. Aw, guys, it's actually really sweet. You know, when I was in high school, we used to take grapefruits oh. and we used to shove them down the toilets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't cool in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we have got a great show for you tonight. Please make sure to stay tuned. We've got lots of laughs along the way. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>Hey, how's it going? Good, good. I see you're fitted up. You going to go shoot Beyond the Bricks? Yeah, I'm hoping to. I just don't see Grayson anywhere. Huh. But they yeah. said meet here, so. I don't really know why they would want to meet yeah. here. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, we were just talking about you. Who's ready to shoot Beyond the Bricks? Yeah, yeah uh, we're ready when you are. Yeah. Um, I'm so psyched. Oh. I have the best ideas. You guys just follow me this way. Okay. Wait, um, are we going to your house? Just, you'll see. Just follow me this way. Okay. Don't All worry right. about it. Hey, guys. It's Aiden Wickham, your host of Beyond the Bricks. And welcome back to another episode where we take you beyond the bricks of Studio C and into the bricks of about every other building in Athens. Today, we have Grayson Newborn. Welcome to my crib. Do you guys think it's a place? Um, it looks familiar. So you're saying you've been staying in here? This is our dressing room. Do you guys want a, a, a tour of the place? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll show you guys around. Okay. So this is when I go out, go out to the bars, the ladies, the ladies are all up on me. Yeah, yeah she's like, <laughs> No, because genuinely, like, I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> she's funny. I think we might have a connection. Oh my god. You had some rainbow connection? Pop tarts everywhere, weird ass Celtic music in the radio. I, mean, the I guess you could kind of say that I go wherever my heart really takes me. So I guess technically Ohio State. <laughs> Those are my bagpipes! How old are you, Grayson? Never ask someone that. <sighs> you never ask someone that. Just don't. You look great for 30. I don't want to hear anything about bagpipes. Aww, you don't know good music. Me. Oh, hey guys. Is that me, my brother? Sorry about the white hands, I was just trying to get. Oh yeah, she's inside, bro. Yeah, why is that cool? Why is he wet? I'm just one of you guys. Why are you wet? Bro doesn't go here. Uh, why do I so go here, guys? Why I'm not damn. Okay. I'm not. Guys. Uh, okay, I'll see you guys on Friday. It was nice to see you. I think they liked me. I think so too. I th I think I'm really gonna fit in here. Yeah. Weirdo! I just feel kinda bad because like do you know him? I mean, I don't, but like, I thought the Friday's people would treat him a little bit better, you know what I mean? And maybe we should go find him. I wasn't yeah. trying to... No, 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 100%. I wasn't trying to start... So, someone's... Is that Grayson? Hey, what's oh. up? What are you doing in the basement? Hey, let me clean up here. Uh-huh. Um... I feel like I would feel better if I at least knew... Like, wh why are you hosting? Like, what are you excited about? So that way, I know... You don't think so I'm into this? Host. No, I mean, you I You don't think I'm into this? I, but how do you do even know Fridays? Too. I know everybody. Well, Aiden, you, know. you know Aiden. Yeah. yeah, this is the love of my life. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. you guys are together? Yeah, we clicked really well when we first started filming an hour ago, so, yeah. you know. I backtrack, I'm sorry. Thank We're you. We're very glad that you're here. I appreciate that. I, you know but what? what's I my last name? You. What's wrong? The British are coming! They're coming! The British are what? Coming! The British are coming! Like, all of them? 
At, <laughs> at the same time? Yes, all of them are coming at the same time. Even the women? No, not the women. Typical. <laughs> People, the British are coming with pitchforks and muskets. Whoa, freaky. They can be into that, but I'm more of a butter churner, if you get what I mean. <laughs> butter churner, interesting. I'm more of a, I prefer milking the cow. Okay, no, 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 no. Are you guys listening? The British are coming. Paul, we understand, but they all can't come at once. It's mathematically impossible. Even if they got the timing right, there's always one guy. Stop it! <laughs> Stop! The British are coming to attack us. Coming to attack your freedom. Don't you want to be prepared to fight against the Redcoats? So you want us to come? Yes! <laughs> oh, Paul, I didn't think you were the commanding type. <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> no, 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 guys, listen, wait, the British are coming. It's taken them a while, too. Shouldn't they have came already? Don't be judgy. Would you prefer if they came faster? All I'm saying is that it's taken a bit of time. I get everyone comes at their own rates. OK, you pair of turkeys. We're going to all die. The British are coming. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out of here. The British are coming. <laughs> oh. I don't understand what his problem was. Bro comes into town speaking of the British coming. What a weirdo. We've came <laughs> together. together. <laughs> 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 Recently. On Spoodle Man Homeboys. Man, this has been such a good year, dude. You know, I was thinking about running for mayor. <laughs> Half before 20, dude. Now that won't be necessary. Oh, relax, Spoodle Man. Oh, man, that was fast. As mayor, I promise to provide all citizens of New Tokyo City with only the best strain of weed. Any other questions can be addressed to my chief of staff and best friend, Kingpin. Man, I thought we were best friends. I'm out of here. On my home planet, I'm kind of a loser. Like you. Take this. Why am I so angry right now? Oh. It starts with one. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this product to explain in due time. All I know. Time is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings. Watch it count down to the end of the day. The clock takes life away. It's so unreal. Didn't look out below. Watch the time go right out the window. Trying to hold on. Didn't even know I wasted it all just to watch you go. I kept everything inside. And even though I tried, it all fell apart. What it meant to me will eventually be a memory of a time I tried so Check the sign. Spooty. Yeah, and I have been thinking. Based on my exemplary performance in all things masculine, and my online peers seem to think, your utility to me has weakened. <sighs> We've run our course. I want to terminate this relationship. Spooty, what are you talking about? You've been acting really weird lately, and you're always hanging out with this weirdo. I need to surround myself with high value men, such as myself. Goodbye. So, want to start a podcast?
that was when I realized that it's actually pronounced orgasm dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. But I didn't... Hey, guys, sorry to interrupt, but where's the water fountain around here? Oh, you must be in the new data entry higher. Um, it's been on the fritz lately, so it got sent to the shop. Oh, I, the water fountain? I'm Hannah, water. nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, hi, Charlie. Charlie, you know, Charlie means warrior and free man in German. You must have fought like a warrior to be the free man for the job. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. What was that? I know. Jeff surprises everyone with how funny he is. <laughs> what can I say? I used to knock them dead at the comedy club. <laughs> <laughs> Burst their eardrums? Oh, he sells himself short. He's funny as ever. Tell him the one you were just telling me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> well, you see, I was reading the newspaper. I was looking in the funny section, and you know, there was this guy. He was with another, and he said so loud, how do you pronounce this? And then I said so loud, quesadilla, and that's how I got banned from the taco restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. My head hurts. Uh, yeah, I, I know. He makes you laugh so hard. It makes you lightheaded. Thank you. I think I need something to eat to clear his head. Yeah, totally. Why is it not working? Uh, it must be toasted. <laughs> Why is the seat wet? I don't... Oh my god! That's what this was for. I thought it was for the walls. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I got my tax returns back the other day. Would you please shut up? Oh! <laughs> Damn, you look like you're scared of my skull. Hey, that's no way to talk to someone, especially someone with a chronic health condition. What? No, it's okay. He didn't know. No, no, I'm tired of people treating you like this. I'm going to HR. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm so sorry. I know, just do way better. <laughs> what just happened? Did HR calling you? Uh, yeah, I guess I didn't really mean to, though. Yeah, me too, because allegedly I'm a raging Texas. <laughs> Can you believe that? Just because I said, uh, I'm out of here. Huh. That guy was rude. Oh, a bagel. <laughs> Welcome, come in. Take a seat. How are you today? I'm doing all right. So, what's been on your mind recently? Well, there's something that's been bothering me for a long time. Do you need to talk about it? Well, it happened when I was young. I went to a Backstreet Boys concert back in the height of their popularity, and it was a really, really fun concert. But then, something happened. It was during their hit song, I Want It That Way. The crowd got really rowdy and a giant fight broke out. My dad grabbed my hand and we were running, but as we were running, I saw this guy in the distance. He was sprinting towards us and he had this, this look in his eye, you know? I don't think my dad noticed him, so, so we kept running. Before I knew it, he came barreling straight into my dad and hit him so hard that it gave him a concussion. And ever since then, I know it's strange, but I've had this irrational fear of the Backstreet Boys and even the brief 
briefest mention of them will send me spiraling into a deep depression. That moment, when that man ran into your father, that keeps you up at night, does it not? Yes, ma'am, it does. Tell me why. From Studio C, real news, fake news, tomorrow's news, today. News you can trust. 24-hour, non-stop coverage. Your A News. A News with Chance Lane. Good evening and welcome to this week's edition of A News. I'm your host, Chance Lane. And I'm your other host, Grayson Newborn. Karaoke machine inventor Shigechi Nagishi passed away this week, devastating drunk people everywhere. There are no words to describe the world's sorrow, only an on-key hum to the beat. Lately, there's been some buzz about a swarm of bees that caused a significant delay in the BNC Paribus tennis tournament. While this might seem unbelievable to some, they'll be glad to know that no one was hurt by the bees. Recently, the EU announced a probe into the effects of generative AI on the economy. They were relieved to find out that it would have no effect on the artisanal cheese market. Yes! A man in Tennessee was surprised while fishing when he caught an alligator on the end of his line. They might have been in denial of the situation at first, but officials are now searching for the instigator responsible for bringing the animal into the state. In a move celebrated by furries around the world, Virginia Wildlife Center staff have been dressing up as a fox to take care of an orphaned kit. Here to comment is one of the workers themselves, Buttons. Oh my God, what is that? It's just buttons. Uh, why does it look like that? Where are your manners? Buttons is a valued member of the Friday's Live community. Buttons, could you tell us about your role taking care of the young fox? <laughs> How do you not scare it with your cold, lifeless eyes? <laughs> Oh, I'm one to talk. You're literally made of cardboard. <laughs> okay, sorry. Buttons, is, is there anything you think people should know? <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Make sure to check your carbon monoxide detectors. <laughs> and now to Ryan with this week's edition of Top 5. Top five worst majors, number five, business, number four, journalism, number three, media, number two, film, and number one, communications. All right. Well, it looks like we're out of time for A News this week. I've been Chance Lane. And I've been Grayson Newborn, signing off. Hi, I'm Sam, and this is street walking, and there's a green light, so you know what that means. It's green, green beer day, right? Yeah. Would you guys like some green beer? Oh, this one's free, and it has hair in it, and other things. It's green beer day. It is green beer day. 
Do you have green beer? Not currently. You're going to get green beer? I sure hope so. In here we have a nice heavy flopping of flop. I'm here with... Braden Spitar. Braden Spitar, don't spitar on me. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. A good mouthful's worth of bong water. Um, it's Green Day. Who's your favorite Green Day? I'm Irish. I'm part Irish. Go Irish right here. You know, no name fighting Irish. It's my like favorite holiday of the year. So tell everybody at home to eat their greens. Eat your greens. No, like Green Day. You know, like uh, like oh, the band, holiday. The band, the band. Yeah, yeah, I like the band Green Day, yeah. I went to a shrink to analyze my dreams. She said it's like I've sex and drinking me down. Time to keep myself the creeps. They don't keep setting up. I think I'm cracking up. And I might just never know it, but I don't know. Oh, do you like the Irish better? We. Oui. I'm a leprechaun! Ah! Do you like Bastille Day or St. Patrick's Day better? It's unbelievable. Let me do sit, you moron! I bet you planned the Irish potato oh, fan. Hi, I'm here with Lily from the last episode of Friday's Live. Oh, yeah, that's right, I was on that. Yes, you were. That was impressive, but you are no match for the little Irish food. You are no match. Drink it. If you're that Irish, drink it. So it's green day, so what's your favorite collard greens? Oh my god. With like the little bacon. I really like spinach. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Yes, I do. Spinach. <laughs> do you know what's in there? Do you know what's in there? Nothing edible. Oh! Anyway, here's Caitlin. I just got spit on by a leprechaun. Wonderful. Where are you going to be on March 22nd at 8 p.m.? March 22nd? What kind of day is that? A Friday. What if I pretended to throw up, throw up and it was this in front of someone? I don't know, my living room. Doing? Green. Watching? Ooh, space video. From Being honest. All right, everyone. Here we see the wild Sam Brandis acting and perform. <laughs> but you know what's on at 8 p.m.? Oh my God! I know what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be watching this video because I love this improv live. Drink your greens, eat your greens, smoke your greens, all the greens. This has been Street Walking with me, Sam. Um, I hope you all had a beautiful green beer day with me. And I'll see you all in the future at some point. But until then, here's some green beer. Here we go. Green, green beer day. Green beer day. Green beer day. Stay green, Athens. Oh my God, you're still here, that's crazy. Well, welcome back. We have got a great show and you know, I'm having a blast. Grayson, are you having a blast? I mean, I've really grown to like this place. Yeah, did you not like it before? I, well, it's just the name. I mean, Friday's why? It's just a lawsuit waiting to happen. Okay, what are we supposed to name it? Grayson Live. <laughs> All right, is that the best you can come up with? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, see, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of like, I'll us. be the new host, <laughs> all of the actors, all of the musical guests, the director, and the camera ops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, I'm... Really glad that you like the show, but I don't think that we can let that slide. You know what I mean? Fine. I guess I'll just never make it big in the world of college sketch comedy. I'm cooked. Grayson, wait! 
We need you. Don't go. You bring such a good energy to the show. And I mean, the audience, the audience loves you. Cheer for Grayson. We love you. The Tippecanoe School County has a bounty on your head. We need you. Really? No. But you are contractually obligated to finish this show. Damn. So. The fine print. Yeah, should have read it. Yeah. Can I at least do the line one time? I don't see why not. Yeah, just make it quick. And live from Studio G, it's Grayson Live! <laughs> you know, I think that someone was calling your name. Um, oh my god, they just, they just said there's a fire. Oh my god, you have to go! Have no fear, Grayson is here! All right, go get him. What an idiot. Anyways, guys, sorry about that. We've got a lot of more comedy, laughs, and lives, and Fridays coming up. Oh, and a music, musical guest performance by, I don't know, me? Stay tuned. <laughs>
games that never amount to more than they're meant will play themselves out. Take the sinking boat and point it home. We've still got time. It's time that you won. If you take the sinking boat and point it home, we've still got time. Take it all. Oh, I play the cards too late. Now you're gone. Now you're gone. Now you're Listen up. We're going to do this number one more time, and I don't want to have to do it again, okay? Yeah. Oh. All right. One, two, one, two, three, four. Hello. It's cough, 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 not cough, 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 cough. Oh, oh. I misread that in the sheet music. Yeah, wow. all right. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'll Let's run through it one more Sorry. time, all right? One, two, one, two, three, four. Hello. Hello. I did not spend eight years at Juilliard to listen to your tone-deaf asses ruin my piece. 
So either you get out of my quiet practice or you get on my time. Well, I'm out of here. Mm. Oh, I yeah. never, all right, oh, God, God. Oh, God. 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 all right, what are we gonna do? All right, I guess it's just you. Show me what you got. He's beautiful. Welcome to WrestleMania! <laughs> Tonight, we settle once and for all the centuries-long feud between rock, paper, and scissors. Yeah. <laughs> Let's meet our fighters, here all the way from the moon, the bouldered beast, the sedimentary sensation, it's rock! Yeah! yeah. What's up? I'm a rock. Next up, here all the way from the back of a middle schooler's notebook, the lined warrior, the wide ruled legend. Make some noise for paper! <laughs> and finally, last but not least, here all the way from your mom's sewing kit, the cutthroat crusher, the gladed bulldozer. Keep it going for scissors! <laughs> Round one, rock versus paper. All right, fellas, I want a good clean fight. No paper cuts or throwing pebbles. You're going down, you crumpled coward. No, it is you that will be going down. I'm gonna wrap myself around you like you wouldn't believe. Oh yeah? Uh, well, I'm gonna, what, what'd you say to me? <laughs> and fight! Oh, oh I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rock you, cause I'm a rock. Is oh. that all you got, you big round loser? Stay out of this, you punk. Hey, oh, hey, oh. ass paper, don't hold back. <laughs> Oh, oh, no! Oh. One, two, three! And the winner is Paper! <laughs> oh. Round two Paper versus Scissors! <laughs> All right, folks. This is the final round of the evening. Whoever wins this smackdown will receive the prize of 12 US dollars and 49 cents to donate it to a charity of their choosing. Thank you to our donors for watching from your home for your generous contributions. Without further ado, on your marks, get set, fight. Come on, man, please, let me win. Why would I do that? Because I, I need the money for charity. Oh, uh, so do I. That's kind of the point. No, you don't understand. I have to donate this to deforestation awareness. Okay, and I understand it's important to end deforestation, but... Uh, end it? No, I, I need to fight for deforestation. <laughs> Everything is going digital, please. Uh, man, I'm desperate. Okay, okay, yeah, you know what? I feel for you. I'll let you win. Just do the rap thing that you did before. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Oh! I did it! I won! Not quite. Huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> 
with rock, paper, and scissors down. The winner is... <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much for watching our show. We've got a great episode in two weeks with Larissa Strong and Deja Dewberry. It's going to be a great show. So take care until we see you then. From all of us, good night. Yeah.